Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing fantabulous. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, my beautiful Pisces, before we get into the reading, as usual, I will be putting down the good old fashioned holiest of the holy waters of all the holy land of all the more. I had a good night's sleep last night. I moved through my jet lag pretty quick, unlike when I was in New Hampshire. And it took me like a week to recover from that. That was pretty rough. But I guess maybe it was Florida and the sunshine. I think that might have been it. I did get some sunburn. But anyway, it's 77 degrees here. And I have three windows open in my house and no fire burning. So I'm airing out the house. And I love it. So, you know what time it is. I do. Tarot's down session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Nong, presiding. You can all keep eating your sandwiches. So, we're going to check in on the energy. What is that? Okay. Of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it, and we will quit that shit together like we always do, baby. Yeah. Whew. I did stay up a little bit late last night and have a dance party. <laughs> it was a solo dance party. Well, Louie was dancing. He was running around the house. It was just nice. I almost got all my luggage unpacked, too. I'm, I'm going to get that done today. Get that tucked away. I got him. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done. <sighs> Volunteer work on Monday too. Show me the energy the person, not the beautiful Pisces, is dealing with. Volunteer work on Monday, and then I'm free to go. I'm still on vacation. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody's disappointed here. Somebody might be disappointed with the seashells that they brought back. <laughs> I did bring some seashells back. And they're pretty awesome. All right. There's a rhythm here. There's a rhythm. Something about a rhythm. A rhythm, a rhythm, a rhythm. Okay, Jesus criminy. What the hell we got going on here? Looks like this isn't going to be Kitty Boom Boom land today. Eight wands. Something here might be flowing here, coming towards you real fast, or they are wanting something to come towards you real fast. Uh, yeah. There's something here about a rhythm. I don't know. It's like a rhythm. There's a rhythm. A rhythm, I don't know. Rhythm to what? I'm going to find this out. Uh, your person is in nine swords. So, at the end of the day, this person... Decided to go out in the middle of the woods, okay, with their bed and uh, in the dark and try to sleep, okay? So, basically, you don't know what's going to come out and lurk from the shadows. So, this is all about fear, okay, and anxiety. Five of Pentacles. Person here is walking around, staying out in the cold, all right? I don't know. So, they're feeling abandoned right now, neglected. But basically, at the end of the day, you choose the Five of Pentacles for yourself. Okay. I want to find out what's going on. Rhythm. There's a rhythm. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not a backseat rhythm. <laughs> Louie, don't do it. He's like, Mama, I just want to get on the table. He's like, I'm so excited that you're back. I get to talk to the Pisces. He loves the Pisces readings. Louie, I see you, Brother Vinny. Don't. He's gonna. He's really thinking about it. I might have to block him. I don't want to block him, but I have to. Okay, what's this rhythm? What's going on? Rhythm, 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 rhythm. Rhythm, rhythm. An announcement, an announcement, a rhythm. An announcement, a rhythm. I don't know what that is. What is this announcement? What is this rhythm? Oh. Ba-ba-boom. 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 Ba ba boom, ba ba boom. That's the rhythm. It's the two of cups. So you make this person's heart beat. Yeah, you send some kind of rhythm to this person. 
So there's like, yeah, there, it's like, I guess this person's like feeling this rhythm that they have for you. Could be the backseat rhythm too, but we'll have to get into this a little bit deeper. Okay. So what's this rhythm with the two of cups? We'll find out. We can clarify this and it could all go to shit. So what's going on? What's this rhythm with this, this connection? What's this rhythm with this connection? What's this rhythm? What's this rhythm? Hopefully it's a good rhythm. What's this rhythm with this connection? Okay. It's it's the Eight of Wands, Pisces. Look at that. That was the overall energy for the reading. So this person, like, it happened fast. Like, this rhythm that they felt for you. It's like out of nowhere. They're like, oh my God. That Piscean makes my heart beat fast. It they send me some, Pisces sends me some kind of rhythm here. Oh my goodness, Pisces. So this person is feeling the rhythm of this connection inside their soul. Sorry, it's all shaky. I don't know why it's so shaky. So whoever this is is feeling your rhythm. And they might want to do the backseat rhythm. Brother Louie, here, go get this fishy or something. He's like, okay, I'll go get the fishy. He's like, but that's not my mousy. If he brings it back, I will laugh because he only brings the mousy back. I think he he sees his mousy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, sorry guys. You know, I gotta take care of Louie. So what's this person worried about here? What's this person having anxiety here? What are they worried? What are they scared of? What are they scared of? Letting go. Letting go of what they've worked so hard to keep. So what did this person work so hard to keep that they're worried about letting go of? What did they work so hard to keep that they're worried about letting go of? They've worked so hard to keep their boundaries. So they're worried about Letting go of their boundaries here. Because they've worked so hard to keep these. And now it's like they're at the point where they're like, okay. I need to, I need to go somewhere with this. Okay. Where do they feel like they need to go with this? Letting go of their boundaries. Oh shit. Well, it looks like. Something unexpected happens all of a sudden. Alright. So basically at the end of the day. This is major arcana. So this person has no control over. What they've worked so hard to keep here. Which is their boundaries. And now all of a sudden. Shit hits the fan here. For this person. So what's happened here with the tower energy for this person? What's happened with the tower? What's, what's happening here? What's this shake-up all about for this person? What's this shake-up all about? Okay. Let's get one more on that, and then I'm going to open up the high hole. What's this tower with the Nine of Cups, please? What's this tower with the Nine of Cups? What's this tower with the Nine of Cups? Okay. It's like whoever this is, they're pulling in King of Wands energy. Could be a Leo, very well so. But whatever the case is, it's like, okay. You need to figure out what you want. Because you know you want it. So you need to figure out what you want here. With Pisces. Because you're feeling this connection. So the universe is like, come on now. Like, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So what, where does the universe want? What's going on here with judgment? What's going on here with judgment, please? What's going on here with Louis? What's going on here with judgment? Top to bottom, what's going on here with judgment, please? What's going on here with judgment, Take the risk. Take the leap. This is what it is. So somebody here, 
Like, is all of a sudden they felt like this, they feel this rhythm that they have for you. There's some rhythm. It's a very powerful connection. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this person's like, I just want to take the risk. Screw it. I'm just going to walk off the cliff. And if I fall straight on my face, you know, and break my neck, then I break my neck. All right. But it's all about just taking the leap here, taking the risk. And not worrying about what happens. Because, you know, at the end of the day, when, when you're getting in relationships with people, you have to kind of say to yourself, well, you know, this could really turn into a shitty situation, possibly. This person could really screw me over. But what do I do? I got to take the risk. And just know that that could always happen. You always got to know that that could happen. Because that's just a part of life. And you know, you won't know what's going to happen if you don't take the risk. You'll never know. And then you'll be in regret. This, that, that, and the other. So, let's see. What's this person? What's this regret here? What's this regret? What's this regret? Well, they're regretting that they didn't listen to their soul to begin with. So that's what this person's focused on. They're regretting that they didn't listen to their soul to begin with. So why did this person not listen to their soul to begin with? Hold on a second. I think I got to take my hair out of this clip. Oh, yes, I do. Ouch. Okay. Why did this person not take the risk to begin with here? Let's go. Why did they not take the risk to begin with? Why did they not take this risk to begin with? This person was in a stuck energy. It's like they felt like they were blind. They didn't know where it was going to be safe. Okay, what direction to go. So they didn't know what direction to go before. Because they were basically blind. Yeah. And stunted. So it's like something here where it was like they're, they were just blind and stunt, stunted. Their growth was stunted. But once you feel some kind of strong connection like this, like I said, there was a rhythm here. That's all I picked up. And if you, when you feel that rhythm in your heart, that's hard to ignore. Very much so. Okay. So what's going on with the 510? Why is this person feeling in this woe me energy? Woe me. It looks like you got somebody here that's coming towards you, though. You know, they're not wanting to stay there anymore. Nope, this person is not wanting to stay in this energy anymore. This person's wanting to get warm here and feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm. That's all I'm feeling. They're feeling this rhythm that somebody is not going to stay here. They're feeling the rhythm, and what the rhythm is, is you. You're pulling in Queen of Wands. This person's pulling in King of Wands. This person feels this is a strong connection. And hopefully it's not all superficial, okay? I'm hoping that this is not superficial because the king and queen of wands, I mean, in their soul, though, they feel the rhythm. But this might have started out just as a, a mutual attraction. And then it's it's developed into something deeper than just a mutual attraction. This is good energy. All right. We're going to clear it off with the white sage. You get the final messages. And then I'm going to grab one card for each sign with the kitty boom booms for good old Jesse and Gabby. Okay. Yep, somebody here wants your attention. This is too powerful to ignore in your soul. Too powerful. Yep. This person, I'm telling you, they're the rhythm here that they it's a powerful rhythm. Rhythm. It's a vibration. This connection is a whole vibration. Pisces, look at that. King of Wands. This person is coming towards you to take the leap. All right, I like you, like you. We're going to grab one card for each sign with the kitty boom booms for good old Jesse and Gabby. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. Oh, yeah, I wanted to give the weekly shout out. Uh, they got their guard out. Weekly shout out to Laura and Queen Midas. Uh, YouTube highlighted you guys for like the weekly, like every week. They're giving me highlights for people who 
are like the top commenters and, and all that stuff. So Laura and Queen Midas. Uh, cancer. Cancer. Okay. You guys are not talking. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Blah, blah, blah. Scorpio. Scorpio. Blah, blah, blah. Scorpio feels like something's got to end. Uh, Aries. Aries. Aries is in love. Ooh la la, bonsoir. Leo. I got my chili, my jalapenos hanging outside. Leo wants to cut out the bullshit. That's all I got. Sagittarius. For sure. Sagittarius is going to reach out to you unexpectedly. Libra. Yeah. Yeah, Louie. Libra. I smell good today, by the way. I'm making my own essential oils hair stuff. Libra. Libra feels like you are a player, Pisces. We got the good old player, Pisces. <laughs> Faye looks like, yeah. Oh, shit. That was funny. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. If you're not in a relationship with Gemini, they want to be in one with you. Aquarius. Aquarius. Uh, they're trying to find out information on you. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, okay, Virgo. Virgos can't seem to move on. Mm. Uh, Taurus. 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 Taurus is sorry for what they did. And happy, Cappity. How, okay, Cappy. How do you feel? Okay, Capricorn feels like you're very cold and distant, too. My goodness. So, as always, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. You can share, you can like, you can do whatever you want. You just do all those sexy mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. Tarot's adjourned.